I'm Martin. <laughs> I'm Master Ken, and these are the top five reasons that the McGregor vs. Mayweather fight was bullshit. For a night that was meant to showcase the art of combat, there was a complete lack of situational awareness. Not one person managed to defend themselves from those creepy photobombing Corona girls. Both fighters reportedly received over $100 million each for what ended up being a glorified sparring session. So, the next time I want to see a $200 million disappointment featuring a bearded warrior surrounded by prostitutes, I'll just rent the movie King Arthur Legend of the Sword. When I described this so-called super fight as boring, many online fans rushed to defend the sport saying that some people don't understand boxing because it's too technical. And I say fair enough. But again, so is the owner's manual of a Cuisinart. You're not gonna find me paying 99 bucks for someone to read it to me. For those of you who enjoyed the fight, I just have to ask one question. What does it say about the sport of boxing that both fighters, after fighting 10 rounds, were able to attend a post-fight conference where they answered questions with no missing teeth, no broken bones, not even any visible bruises. In my opinion, for several hundred million dollars, that should have been a fight to the death. Or at least until somebody bit off a body part. Some fans complained that the 10th round stoppage was premature. But, judging from McGregor's accidental erection at the weigh-in, I'm guessing that's not the first time that he's had to stop prematurely. I'm Master Ken, and remember, the McGregor vs. Mayweather fight was bullshit.